Every programming language has two aspects that you need to know about. The first is called syntax, and the second I am calling function vocabulary as part of this course. Syntax refers to the specific way in which a function requires you to do all of the things we've talked about up until now. In most languages, for example, you specify text by enclosing it within quotes. That is an example of syntax. Function vocabulary refers to knowing many different functions that are available. In much the same way as you build up a vocabulary of words in order to speak a language, you need to develop a vocabulary of functions in order to really know a programming language. When two languages allow you to create the same function, and they both have you do so in a different way, that is an example of how the syntax of one language is different from the syntax of another. Learning the syntax of a language is really all that is meant by learning a programming language. However, knowing a programming language in this way is quite useless. In addition to understanding the syntax of a programming language, you need to learn many of the functions that come packaged with the language. Of course, even this is not really enough. We talked in one of the first lessons that even the grand sum of all of the functionality that comes with a given language is not really enough to make any real application. For that, you need to also learn libraries and the functions that go with them. So let's sum this up a bit. You can't learn how to use the functions that come with a language properly until you learn the syntax of that language. Also, you can't get the most benefit from library functions without first understanding the functions that came packaged with the language. Now, why is that? The functions that come packaged with a programming language are going to be the most basic functions you need. No library is going to recreate those functions. They are simply going to assume you already know how to use them. You will need to use those functions to do anything useful with more advanced functions like library functions. Therefore, in general, this is how you learn a programming language. So anytime you want to learn a programming language, first of all, you have to learn the syntax of the language, the exact way in which you create functions or you identify different kinds of data, and so on. Then you need to learn the basic functions that come with that language, which will usually include things like how to print text on the screen, or how to let someone type something on their keyboard, and so on. And then you need to learn the library functions, which are many times not included with the programming language, which will allow you to do many more advanced operations. So, with number two here, I'm referring to those functions that typically come prepackaged with a given programming language. These may also be part of libraries, but these libraries are supplied by the distributor of the programming language you are using. With number three, I'm referring to the libraries that have been built by developers who already use that language. These libraries make it possible to do a great many operations that could not be easily done with just the functions that are included with the programming language. Many of these libraries are free, but some cost a license fee. Remember that what you can create as a programmer is always limited by the types of functions available to you, and the more libraries you obtain and learn, the more you can create in any language.